I like these walks after the end of a story. It gives you time to ponder and think about what's just happened. It's a good way of transitioning you between you know, each person's chapter. Giving you time to process it before Lizzie, we move on to the next, and Lizzie's is the next chapter. Ah, it's a holiday camp. Lizzie runs the holiday camp, does she? Uh, proprietor, Lizzie Graves. Established in 1978. We're going to find out Lizzie's story. What we know so far is that, yeah, she's married to Robert Graves, uh, who runs the garage in the village. Unfortunately, we saw him get killed in a, in a, in a car accident where he went off the track and uh, went off the road down into the river and a, a tree branch came through the windscreen and killed him. However, we also know that their relationship was not good. Robert was drinking, we don't know why. Um, and we know Lizzie was starting to see Stephen again, uh, probably at the behest of Wendy, Stephen's mother. Because um, obviously they used to be old sweethearts and uh, Wendy was matchmaking to try and get them back together. The heavens have opened, it's raining. Let's find out a little bit more about Lizzie then. By a stupid bloody girl and went out for a cigarette and then didn't come back and then Di, she went out after him and she didn't come back but either where is Dylan? was he with Sean and Di? no, I've been looking after him do you think they'll come back? I, I don't know, Rachel I don't care what anyone thinks I just know if he was my baby I could never leave him even if the whole world was coming to an end, I'd make sure he came first. You'd be a good mum, Rachel. Oh, don't worry. It's fine. Go, go back inside and tell everyone that they're doing a great job. A really wonderful job. I just got a few things to finish up here, and then I'll come in and join you all. Right. Go on. So, Sean and Diane, or Diana, they were the two on the bridge where Robert died. So they were running. Well, I'm sure they said they had the kid with them, so I'm, I'm sh slightly confused by that. Uh, we're here. What's one? One is the Lakeside Administration Building. Two is the Main Hall. Three is Proprietor Chalet. Four, Tennis Courts. Five, Tennis Court Changing Rooms. Six, Private Residences. Okay. Uh, seven is Laundry. Yeah. Football Pitch. Backfield, Activities Field, Playground, Swimming Pool, Swimming Pool, Changing Rooms. Okay, cool. So we got the uh, camp shop here by the looks of things. Oh, we got the camp timetable, is it? It is! June... Ah, oh, so hang on. We're in June. 4th to 8th. That's an early harvest then. For the straw bales, but never mind. Um, bingo and prizes, lunch, uh, tennis tournament. All go here. Soap dispenser. It's the pub, isn't it? No. Is it the farm? I don't know. You can't save them. Just pack a case and meet me at the station. They've closed the lines. Weren't you listening to the radio? Because of the flu. There is no flu, Lizzie. Oh, Christ, Stephen, I'm not stupid. Of course there's no flu. But the stations are still closed. There's an access footpath that runs alongside the main tunnel. You can get out that way. They won't have thought of it. You know oh what's God! Going on, don't you? you can't use the phone anymore. It wasn't Lizzie got hit oh, by the God, train, was it? Right now. Funny. Listen, just 
Don't use the phone after this. No TV or radio either. It can hide in the signal. Oh, you make it sound like it's alive. I don't think we have a word for what it is. Just promise me. Don't tell anyone. Pack quietly. Meet me at the station tomorrow, all right? I feel awful lying and leaving all these people here. It was a brilliant idea about the show. Top marks for that, you clever thing. I love you. Oh. He throws I'll that about, doesn't he? So when she just had that conversation with Rachel up there, well she she's about to run off to this train station with Stephen. There's some water coming through or something. Oh Lizzie. Pouring down now. So it's not bad enough. Now it's raining. Let's go into the main hall. Peter Pan. Oh, I've seen that before, that everywhere, haven't we? That that performance um, banner. Uh, missing. John Coles. Last seen. Saturday night, 2nd of June, 1984. John was an elderly resident and is often seen around the camp. If you have any information, please contact missing persons. Uh, details, he's 5 foot 8, beard, last seen wearing a brown overcoat and a flat cap. Ah, it's Pit Pan Show, look. I've got a cigarette going off there. Here we go. So we've got the observatory, we've got the windmill. We've got a little observatory. Um, some sort of tower. I don't know. Got all the handprints on it. That's nice, isn't it? Cigarettes everywhere. Oh dear. Pills and blood soaked tissues. Doesn't look like it ended well. Oh dear, no. Not much doing in here. Head over. Ah, there's the light in the car park over there. What's happening in the car park? Boy, Shipley, I want a word with you. What? Get over here, soft lad, and keep your voice down. Do you know who I am? Yeah. You work for Meg Holloway? Charlie Tate. You can call me Charlie. What's this about, Charlie? Rachel Baker. What about her? Oh, come on, son. I wasn't born yesterday. Are you looking to get your head kicked in? She's 16. She's not a kid. You try telling her dad that. He'll bloody kill you. I love her, though. You can't stop love. I'm not telling you to stop anything. Just be careful, that's all. Oh. Okay. Raining harder now. Oh, as if it can get any worse. Now thunder and lightning. More dead birds. Uh, this is the proprietor's um, chalet, is it? Proprietor residence. Lizzie Graves. Yeah. Don't touch it. It's 
fine. It's like a sunburn, but it's a funny shape. Is it sore? I can't feel it at all. Don't fuss over it. I can't believe that you left Kate there. Why won't you tell me what happened? She's probably not even noticed I've gone. Uh, it's really nothing. You're lying. Don't lie to me. Fine. We had a row. She'll work all night anyway. Stephen, listen to me. Was there an accident? Is that how your face got burnt? It's nothing. Something, I don't know. Just got a bit shaken up and then we fought. She wanted to stay and collect more data. Was she burnt as well? Is everything all right? Jesus, Liz, are you sleeping with me or her? She's fine, we're both fine. I don't want to talk about her. I came here to see you. I just worry... Well, don't. Come to bed. Oh. So this is obviously... The, they both... Um, got a burn off the... Um, whatever it was coming down the telescope. Kate's saying that she's gone numb and she can't feel it, and obviously Stephen's got something as well. So they didn't jump on the um, situation straight away if he's spent the night with Lizzie. Oh, look at this. this. Yes, this takes me back to my youth. BMX bikes are making little jumps and stuff. Love that. But oh, she knows. Was that he treated me like I was too stupid to notice. I dream through the light storm and see the pattern dancing on his skin as he burns. I wake up with eyes full of liquid light. I'm going to concentrate all five remaining towers on the same point in the sky. If it is establishing conduits for communication, that should create a jump in bandwidth. Okay, I think the tennis tournament might be off then with this rain. Hey, it's just been on the radio that they're closing the roads. Something about the flu? D no one here has flu, Sean. There's no flu here. I overheard Mrs. Graves and she said another family of Upton left. She said they must have left last night, but the car and all their stuff's still here. Ooh. Screw this day. There's 15 people up the left in two days. I don't like it. Where's the baby? Asleep in the caravan. Sean, I don't want to sit around you waiting for it to get worse. I reckon if we leave now, we can get out to the valley before they get their acts together and close the roads. You think so? Yeah, we can go the back roads, through the woods. I'll leave some money on the side for Mrs. Graves. Ah. Uh. You know her husband isn't back yet either. He's a boozer, right? That's what I've heard. That's her problem anyway. Don't be unkind, Sean. Come on, let's go and get there then. That's Sean and Diana. They're the ones who hit Robert. Or made him swerve and go down the river and obviously got killed by the tree branch coming through the uh, coming through the uh, the windscreen. Obviously not, not intentional but um, oh my goodness so that was Sean and Diana they got that little baby Dylan but hang on didn't we have Rachel uh, just a moment ago saying to um, Lizzie that you know they've got they've, she's holding the baby is that the same baby and that they haven't come back even though they, oh, I don't know. Something going on over here. I think it was instant. I, I know that's no help. Can you leave me alone? There was nothing we could do. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Ben. Oh, you've woken the baby. Just leave me alone. Rachel, I'm sorry. Sorry. So that's Charlie and Rachel. So it was instant. Was was uh, the the boy that Charlie just spoke to over there? Was it Reese? No, I can't remember. Anyway, the young boy that uh, Charlie obviously they they fallen in love with uh, Rachel. That wasn't him at the train station or the uh, the train derailment, was it? Is that what he's talking about? The instant. De oh my goodness me! I can't go through there. Oh. but bad news <laughs> bad bad news and they know it's going on that caravan 
You see, it looks like the end of the uh, end of the world, and yet, well, I, I assume the rest of the uh, the world is okay. It's just this valley that's been impacted because they called in the airstrikes. Check out all these caravans. Nice lot. Oh, your welly's going to be filling up with water. Ooh, that's not going to be nice. Okay. Okay. Okay, we've got another anomaly here. Uh, where's the... Uh... Oh, there he is. Found it. And you found it like this? Yeah. I got into the habit of checking in first thing in the morning just to make sure he's had his pills. Mr. Coles is not a well man, Elizabeth. It's entirely possible he upped and wandered off. If things progressed, the mind can be a fragile thing, you know? It's just not very like him, that's all I'm saying, Doctor. He never misses the mid-morning bingo. He didn't smoke, did he? Not that I knew of. There's a funny... It's like ash. Well, that, that is odd. Reese cleaned in here yesterday afternoon. I'll have to have a word. It's not like cigarette ash. Strange. Dr. Wade, there's just been a phone call. We need it back at the village. Apparently, Mrs. Barton has disappeared. Is that Barb again? For a uh, secretary, she seems to come around a lot with the, uh, the doctor, doesn't she? So, is this... Is this the old guy that they've been referring to? The doc, you know, in Jeremy's story, the doctor was referring to, and he'd gone, just gone missing. And if there's a kind of like an ash in the air, has he spontaneously combusted, or you know, is that what happens when they join the light, or whatever the uh, the ending of these people are? Obviously, the numbers of people that have disappeared, they've obviously gone to the rapture, whatever whatever that means. Oh, that's going to be useless. We all soggy and uh, and done. So they was left their camping gear out. Right? Oh, we got. We'll try this one. We got a little um, path through there, and they're all locked. It's got a little electrical hook up there. By the looks of it, or was that lights? I don't know. And they got through here. Ah, there's the light over there. Oof, it's a bit mucky. Still five side football pitch. It's quite something, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You ever seen anything like it? They must be well happy at the observatory place. They're probably all partying there right now. This is right, boss. <laughs> it is. Right. That's me. Short leash. Kids up half the night. Bloody teething. Missus will kill me if I'm gone too long. <laughs> Good night, mate. Night. So I think that's Sean. Well, Sean. And that's young Reese, isn't it? over there. Is there a light in there? Straw bales here, randomly. Some firewood and just some uh, storage shed while it's there. Another little... what's this? Ah, changing rooms. Use a bit of a clean. Got some damp coming through, but it's a bit. Ooh, something happened there. Okay, nothing much going on in here. Safe power. Won't you lights have stayed on, or whatever they are? Have right, we got some more? Caravans over here. Do we check these out? I can't see the lights. So, got a little picnic area. Oh, a little barbecue area. 
smouldering away. It's obviously the green pitch. Got a radio in here. I tried to leave the observatory, but couldn't. I stood at the gates, but couldn't conceive of a world outside. The strangest feeling. As if the valley, Stephen, everything was simply irrelevant. An idea of something, not a something itself. I'm losing track of time. Of whether I'm asleep or awake. My fingers have gone numb at the tips. It's okay. like they still feel. But what they feel is no longer for me. Like the signal has been hijacked. Ooh. That's weird. This is a public service announcement from Haberton District Council Emergency Measures Committee. Road and rail closures are being implemented to help contain the outbreak of influenza. Please remain calm and indoors. Local community leaders, head teachers, scoutmasters, and members of the clergy will act as your representatives during this period. Be sure to report any symptoms of illness. Okay. Right, leaving the green now. What we got up here? Toilets and shower rooms, maybe? We've got a ball of light over there. I'm just going to check out this place first. See if there's anything happening here. Check the map out. Yeah, it looks like the uh, shower rooms. We are here, number seven. Uh, oh, it's the laundry. Okay, no, I was wrong. Okay, thought well, there'd be shower blocks and stuff. Yeah. I thought that was somebody's feet then. It's not, it's just the bottom of the, uh, the stall. Another barbecue. This is classic British summer barbecue weather, I'll be honest. Everyone was sitting around the campfire by lots of things. You shouldn't be smoking, you know, not in your condition. <laughs> it's David's fault. He got me started again. I'm not going to try and stop you, but the weather's looking pretty rough. There's a storm coming. That's what Stephen said. He said he'll meet me, but there's things he has to do first. He seems to think that all of this is connected to him. I don't know. I I'm going anyway, whether he comes or not. I'm assuming Stephen has thought of a way through the quarantine. Well, he's clever. you got to give him that. Do you trust him, though? Well, I love him. Oh, so no. I hope that was good enough. I hope so too. Listen, if you can't get through, for whatever reason, I'm uh, getting people together at the village hall, rounding up stragglers, that sort of thing. Yeah, I've got all the campers together here, doing a show. Peter Pan. The kids love it. It'll take their minds off things. Hey, did you see that? Good to see Jeremy again. We'll see. Giving some guidance to Lizzie. That's pretty good. It's very good, in fact. It's very good. Very good artists. Uh, is there anything over here? Yeah. Okay, we'll follow it around then. So we know Lizzie is obviously falling back in love with um, Stephen. <laughs> Forgot almost for a moment. Um, she, she doesn't yet know that Robert's been killed, and she's planning to uh, run away. Stephen, whether it's out of just getting away from Roger or is it Roger? Richard? I can't remember. Um, or is it just a case of uh, trying to get out of this quarantine? Hmm. 
nothing much doing there. Di, whatever's wrong, you look terrible. Mrs. Graves. John, baby Dylan, is he all right? He's fine. Di, come on. It's okay. Let's get you a cup of tea. Mrs. Graves, I need to tell you. Leave it, Di. Do you try and get out of the valley? All the roads are shut there. I know. I was driving really fast, but... The other car was on the wrong side of the road, and oh God, I think Die, he's... for fuck's sake, leave it! It's all right. Hey, you're all right. Sean's all right. Baby Dylan's all right. That is what matters. Everyone's all right. Oh. But no. God. Now I need your help. Some of the children they're getting quite frightened. So Rachel and I, we decided to push forward the show. Keep them occupied. You said the other night that you play piano. Can you help with that? Yes, yes, I suppose so, but Mr. Graves, Rob... Can look after himself. He's a big boy now. Don't worry. Just head to the hall and find Rachel. She'll tell you what needs practicing. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Graves. Thank and Sean, you. go and find Reese, please, see if he needs some help. Yeah, of course. Go on. Oh, God, she knows, doesn't she? Oh, God, she does. Oh. So they, they, they turned around and came back because they couldn't get out. Oh, Lizzie. That's just awful. Oh, poor Lizzie. But well, we've got pedalos, so it's not all bad. Oh God, Stephen. What's happening to me? Oh God, what is happening to Kate? Um, we'll come back to there, but let's just see if we can... I can see the uh, things open. Can we ourselves a pedalo and escape the valley downriver? We can't get that one. There is a pedal over here, so I'm hopeful uh, we may be able to um, grab this pedal and uh, get out of dodge. Oh, I can't get through the reeds. They obviously knew that's um, a quick thinker person would definitely go for the pedal. Got another barbecue stand over there. Let's check out these caravans. Anything going on here? Oh, I feel sorry, so sorry for Lizzie. She's holding it all together for everybody else, and that her world's falling around apart around her. You know, she's obviously a tough one. She's a good one. She's definitely a good, one of the good ones, isn't she? Have we checked out these caravans? I, I've kind of been turned around now. Where are we? He wants us to go over there. There's a play park over there, but I don't think we've been in here. No, we haven't. There's a radio on the um, picnic table. All five towers are now operating together, and I've got the reception up to the red zone, but it's not enough. I'm going to try and route the signal through Tower 6 to create a singular point of reception and re-coordinate the optical array, which should, in theory, focus a signal spike on the point of origin. If I conceptualize this origin point as a seventh tower, then it makes a kind of sense. Okay. So, she's using all the... Um Telescopes. They're, I suppose they're radio, radio telescopes and all that. It's not just like the old-fashioned lens type telescope. All sorts of the fancy ones with radiation, the do 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 bar. I don't really understand it, as you can probably tell from my explanation. But um, yeah, that's um, quite the thing. Just making sure there's no uh, memories down here. Oh, the rain's lifting. Oh no, it's still raining. No. Okay, let's head towards the play park where the uh, the ball of light was. I think we've got everything we needed from here. Very optimistic, putting out the sun, sun loungers. Car has been abandoned on the side there. She's not an 
that office either. Well, they live nearby, don't they? Yeah, in the village. You don't think she's gone to look for Mr. Graves, do you? I think Lizzie knows Robert will turn up when he's sober. He'll be all right. Do you want me to go and look for him? No, it's okay. Come on, I promised the kids another shot the last number, then I promised everyone a cup of tea. You're very like her, you know. Like Lizzie. Me? No, I'm not. First chance I get, I'm out of here. <laughs> That's Rachel and Reese, isn't it? So, has... Or what? So, has she... Lizzie, that is, gone uh, to meet Stephen? In a way, it feels really bad that she's got everyone set up here. Oh, of course, she doesn't know what's going to happen. And then she's run away. Yeah, she doesn't know what's going to happen. She doesn't know how everyone's going to be gassed but, or, or go up to the rapture. This is a public service announcement from Haberton District Council Emergency Measures Committee. Road and rail closures are being implemented to help contain the outbreak of influenza. Please remain calm and indoors. Local community leaders, head teachers, scoutmasters, and members of the clergy will act as your representative during this period. Oh, be sure to report any symptoms of illness. Okay, not much doing. Rain's come back. Oh, the light's over there. Just gonna check on all, all these um, caravans just in case there are any more story elements to them. Don't want to miss anything. Oh, a blood... A bloody hanky. Somebody's been struggling with the um, symptoms of whatever this thing is. Punch repair? Yeah, I reckon so. Alright, Mr. Impatient Ball of Light, I'm coming. Okay, let's just left us a uh, interactive memory here. It's Kate. Oh. Elizabeth? Lizzie. I've heard a lot about you. Oh, bloody. It's good. You know, you and Emma, it's not difficult or anything. Should it be? I'm sorry? You said it wasn't difficult. I don't see why it would be difficult. You and Stephen were together a long time ago. We moved away. It certainly isn't difficult for me. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you or... No, I'm not offended. Listen, Elizabeth, I... But Lizzie... Please. <laughs> Lizzie. Right. You seem like an okay type of person. And I'm not trying to be rude, I promise. But let's try and be realistic here, huh? Let's, um, try and do our best. That's a British thing, right? Yeah, yeah. I suppose it is. We'll do our best then. Oh, that was awkward. That was really awkward. Bless her. You know, Kate's in a difficult position. It's her husband. She's here for, you know, I guess, him. Um, but still, she's sort of all about her work. Um, maybe, you know, she feels like she's slightly alienated in the village, which you can understand. But poor Lizzie. Oh, and of course, Lizzie is taking her husband, but... So um, I guess that's our signal to go to the main hall. But yeah, it's um, I can't help but like Lizzie. She seems like a really nice person. Kate, you know, I can understand her position. I'm sure she's lovely, but you know, she's a, she's in a tough situation. Oh, always check your toilets for um, boots. There we go. Oh, showers. Here's the old showers. Okay, not much else happening. Okay, where do you want me to go? To the main hall. Okay, gotcha. All holiday makers to the main hall, please. All holiday makers to the main hall. 
Ooh, what we got over here? Ooh, we got the pool. Let's go and check out the pool. I'm coming, ball of light. But it's the pool. Is it a nice pool? You know what? It's okay. It's quite nice, yes. Lights on in the changing rooms? Do we? <laughs> As if it's trying to tell me something. Ah, the door's ajar though, so we must must be a going type thing. Let me get that. Oh, I manage. Is your hip giving you grief today? Always gives me grief. And I managed for the last ten years, so you're a little late for the night in shining armor routine. Suit yourself, I'm only trying to help. God damn it, Stephen. I'm not some useless, sappy girl that you can just string along forever. Look around you. I made all of this. I built it on my own when everyone else had written me off as some poor little cripple. You know that's not how I see you. Well, you weren't there, were you? No. You'd given up on me long before the accident. What do you want from me, Lizzie? I love you. I'll do anything. Anything except okay? Oh. I thought not. I love you too, but sometimes I think you just say what you think everyone else wants to hear. Oh, is he? Well, she's done well for herself then, if she's um, built all this up. Quite an enterprising young lady. I say young lady, I, I assume they're like... in their 30s or something? I suppose it could be later than that. Okay, we're, we're going to the main hall. Nagged us enough. Well, oh, I can hear like a... No, I can't anymore. It's like um, angelic singing. You always get a bit on edge when you start to hear that. Oh, I could have come up there. Oh, well, never mind. Any story-driven bits on this little path? Got to check these things out, man. Got to check these things. The, the board of light would have probably showed me if there was. So yeah, if you get the angelic singing, then you think, uh oh, <laughs> that's usually calling time on something. There's the uh, the shop. Can we go in there? Main hall. Here we are. We went in this earlier and there was nothing there, so I, I suspect we had to unlock the other story elements before they, it will play its its stored memory in here. Maybe not. Oh yes, it's got a, a thingy, a light anomaly. It's Rachel and baby Dylan. Sleeping baby, darling child. Clouds and starlight, starlight, starlight. When you wake, you will be mine. Starlight, sleep and love. Sleeping baby. Oh Shadow God, the voices are coming. Clouds and starlight. Lambert starlight. Oh yeah. When we're called to go, we must into starlight, sleep, and love. Who's that? Is he asleep? Charlie. You're a kid. 
I'll be alright. You should get some sleep, Charlie. You look exhausted. Gathered here. Or oh, is that the jets going over? Oh. That's the strike. Can't see anything. Oh, and that's the end of everyone. Oh, they're all gathering here. Rachel's looking after baby Dylan. So I don't know what happened to Diana or, or Sean. Maybe they'd already passed over whatever the best terminology is so we didn't actually see what happened to Lizzie she disappeared did she run away with Stephen amazing night sky Yeah, that's left me with more questions and answers, that one. You know, we clearly saw Jeremy's end. We clearly saw Wendy and Frank's end. But Lizzie? Hopefully we'll, hopefully she'll appear, appear in other people's... I'm, I'm thinking we'll probably get Stephen's story. And then we might find out um, if he met up with Lizzie to escape the valley. Although it sounded like he was going to stay, so I'm not sure. Maybe he just told Lizzie he would meet her. To make sure that she left. Don't know. More questions and answers on that one. But that was Lizzie's story. Cool. Poor girl. She, she had an early accident, it would seem, and then she created that entire business, that entire holiday camp on her own. And, um, and yeah. Just the way she, when she knew Robert had had died, and um, you know, despite him being a drunk and um, her looking to run away with Stephen, well, she she still cared about him and learning that he's passed. Um, you know, with Diane Shaw and well, Diana desperately trying to tell her, but Shaw not really letting her. Um, but her working it out anyway. It's just oh, poor Lizzie. Right. So if that's the end of Lizzie, we'll leave that here then. And no doubt we'll find out who's next. Maybe their story will help us tie a few more pieces together. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.